He was sprinting with the mower. And I was sprinting with them. <laughs> yes, she was. That chase left this woman bruised and knocked out in the middle of the street. Yeah, she may be in her 60s, but she obviously not afraid to fight. Just out of the hospital, that woman tells News Channel 5's Frank Wiley the story behind the scars, and it's only on five tonight. Yeah, guys, she's been through a lot. We're talking about Pamela Johnson. She's been through three CT scans in the last few days. Her body is sore, but her pride is not. Bruises and scars tell a story that cuts far deeper than some can understand. Last Friday seemed no different than the 18 years Pam Johnson had spent here. Would you do it again? Hell yeah, I'd do it again. Caution gave way to principle when this happened. And then he started going faster. And then he started running with it. Some guy took off with her lawnmower. She had stepped away just for a moment, but left the mower sitting right there. And he was taking my Sears lawnmower. The chase was on. Pam nearly caught the guy. We reached out to grab him at the back of his neck. 911. That's all she remembers. She chased him down. She tripped. She fell, busted her head. She was bleeding. Pam woke up to medics, neighbors, and police asking her why she was stretched out in the street. She spent two days in the hospital. Over a long way, was it really worth it, Pam? She scratched up her shoulder, wrist, and knees. Some scars may never fade. I'm angry because I keep looking out the out the door watching uh, to see if there's somebody walking by. The guy didn't get away with the mower. She says times have changed, but she hasn't. <laughs> yeah, Pamela told me another neighbor recently had a lawnmower and a bike stolen. Of course, police still looking for the people involved. Anita.